Hello everybody, it's me, RJ here, with another video for you guys. Uh, my old fish finder, my Low Rants X50DS, uh, finally pooped out on me. The connection back here, one of the prongs corroded and, and rusted off and it broke. And I can no longer use it, so I had to buy a new one. I didn't want to spend too much money, so I did a lot of research and I was convinced on the research that I did to buy the Hummingbird Piranha Max 4DI with the down imaging. I've never owned a unit with down imaging. Matter of fact, this this old Low Rants X50DS is probably the most high-tech sonar unit I've ever owned. So this is going to be a good upgrade for me uh, because I've never owned one with down imaging, and I didn't want to spend your three, four, five hundred and up to buy one that had down imaging so since I'm not very skilled with a fish finder sonar unit I decided to go cheap on the cheap end and this one sells for $174 on on uh, Amazon but I found it at my local Walmart for $139 with tax I think it was 144 or something like that 145 anyway it came with a really long cord for the transducer. It was, I think, gee, that cord was over 25 feet long. And the cord for the battery was only four feet long, but I have terminals right up underneath my dash right here, so that was no big deal. I just ran it straight down and up underneath my dash and connected it. So anyway, I'm gonna turn the unit on. And by the way, it does come with a nice, um, manual to show you how to use it i am not very familiar with this thing yet so i have to get familiar with it before i get out on the water so i haven't taken it out on the water so what i'm going to do is just turn the unit on and and show you the uh, simulator view on the sonar and the down imaging so let's go ahead and turn it on and you see you have normal simulator or setup. I'm not going to do the setup mode. We're just going to go to simulator and check it out. And we're right now we're we're looking at the down image or down imaging simulator. Hopefully you can see it well. I can see it a lot better. If I look in the my GoPro camera, it looks really glary. Like but if I look at it with my own eyes on here on the screen itself, it looks really good in the sun. That was a downfall of my old fish finder is when it was sunny, I could barely see the screen. I had to shade it, cover it up, and shade it from the sun so that I could read it. But this one, I can read very clear in the sun. I don't even have to squint to read this screen, so that's nice. That's a plus for me. And what um, Another setting that I found on here that I liked is you can change the color. Of the down imaging I have it set on blue right now I think you can set it on brown and then they have amber one and amber two uh, but I like the blue color for the down imaging better let's go ahead and check out the simulator for the regular sonar let's see regular sonar and this this has your fish <clears throat> your fish alarm so it'll beep every time you see a fish on here or your fish ID which I have that turned off it also has a low battery voltage alarm which I thought was nice and a uh, shallow alarm so you can set the shallow alarm from I think 0 to 3 and then up so it'll alert you if you're in shallow water or your battery's low and I like the detail on here and the color on here I haven't quite understood everything that I'm looking at but the owner's manual is pretty good at pointing out what uh, what is what here on the screen <clears throat> so I'm gonna read that and continue to study up on it so I get familiar with it before I get out on the water uh, I'm sorry I couldn't give you a review of it while I've uh, been out on the water but I haven't taken this boat out yet with this fish finder on here and I don't want to sit here and act like I know this product when I don't really know it very well but the reviews that I found on it were pretty decent some people had some issues with it but I'm hoping that I don't have those issues 
but sometimes even the best of products have their problems so anyway guys um, hopefully that gives you a little bit of information on this uh, Humminbird Piranha Max 4DI and uh, I will do another video when I do take this boat out but it's probably gonna be a week or two before I get to take it out and I'll make a video of it when I'm out there on the lake uh, to see how well it performs but let me go ahead and show you my uh, I have no idea what that noise is I think my neighbors must be working on their house <laughs> uh, anyway I'm going to show you how big the transducer was the one that uh, I had from my old fish finder was really small let's go ahead and check that out There's the transducer and to kind of get an idea of how big it is this is an iPhone 7 so it's about as long as an iPhone 7 but the, it was really easy to install the whole thing it took me probably 10 minutes so I just removed my old one and reinstalled this new one and you got this it swivels all the way around and you can pivot it up and down but you have to loosen I have to loosen these to pivot it but you can pivot it up and down however you want it I like mine like that so hopefully in a few weeks guys I'll be able to get the, another video on here about this thing about using it on the water and hopefully uh, I have um, I don't have any negatives using this out on the water uh, anyway thanks for watching the video i got more videos to come i just got to get them recorded get them out there give me a thumbs up thumbs down or let me know if you have this unit if you have any problems with it or you like the unit uh, let me know in the comments below and i'll talk to you guys later on another video see you